in this video i will discuss about combinational logic so we will study the definition of combinational logic we will study how to build a combinational circuit from the given statement first let me explain the definition of this the combinational logic is the one in which different logic gates are combined to form a circuit which performs a particular function so already we have studied about different logic gates we know that we have and gate we have or gate we have not gate or inverter similarly we have special gates such as xor gate we have x nor gate similarly we have universal gates such as nand gate and nor gate this now by combining these gates by taking by combining different gates we can build a circuit that circuit will perform a particular function or particular task that circuit is known as combinational logic or combinational circuit as it is mentioned here the combinational logic is the one in which different logic gates so here we have different gates by combining different gates we can build a circuit that circuit performs a particular function for example we have already studied about half adder circuit as we know in half adder circuit it has two outputs now let me take the half adder circuit we know that half adder circuit has two inputs i will call it as a and b and we know that it has two outputs that is sum and carry we know that already we have studied about half adder in basic electronics the boolean expression for sum is given by a x or b and the boolean expression for carry is given by ab so now let me draw the circuit so here we have a x or b i will take one xor gate so xor gate is represented like this this is a input say this is b input this is a b output of this is a x or b which is nothing but sum similarly we have carry which is equal to ab so to perform ab i need one and gate we'll take one and gate the input is one is b input another input is a input so output here it is ab which is equal to carry so here we can observe that this circuit consists of xor gate and and gate so now by combining xor gate and and gate i have built half adder circuit so this is nothing but combinational circuit so therefore now i can say this is a circuit known as combinational circuit combinational circuit now let me explain the general logic design sequence so in general logic design sequence we will study how to build a combinational circuit so in combinational circuit design of combinational circuit so in designing any combinational circuit we have to follow these steps so the first step is problem statement which is given with the help of problem statement we supposed to write truth table that is truth table construction with the with the help of problem statement we have to write the truth table truth table gives the relationship between input and output with the help of truth table we supposed to write switching equations written that is we have to write the switching equations or boolean expression with the help of truth table then boolean expression expression or switching equations are simplified after simplifying the boolean expressions or switching equations we have to draw the logic diagram once the logic diagram is drawn our logic circuit will be built now let me explain these all steps by taking one simple example let me consider this example so this is the problem statement as we know the first step here is problem statement let me consider this as problem statement that is 
problem statement. Let me read the problem statement. Design a combinational logic circuit so that an output is generated indicating when a majority of three input is true. So this is a problem statement. Now by using this problem statement, we have to build a logic circuit or combinational circuit. So here it is said that the output is generated when the majority of three input is true. So by, by seeing this problem statement, I can say that this circuit is having three inputs and one output. Let me assume A, B and C are the inputs. Let A, B, C are my inputs and let Y is output. So now, as we know, with the help of problem statement, we have to write true table. Now let me construct the true table. So to construct true table, I have to consider input and output variable. Here A, B, C are input variable, Y is output variable. Now let me write true table. That is truth table construction. So let me take a, B, C are input and Y is output. That is, let me write these are inputs and this is output. So we have three inputs. Let me write all possible input values. It is 0, 0, 0. So we have three inputs. The possible inputs are 2 power 3. That is total 8 possible inputs we can write with the help of three inputs. So let me write 0, 0, 0, we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, that is 2, 0, 1, 1, that is 3, 1, 0, 0, that is 4, 1, 0, 1, that is 5, 1, 1, 0, that is 6, 1, 1, 1, that is 7. So now according to the statement, output is generated when majority of three input is true. So here, here first input is, first three input is 0, 0, 0. In that case, output is 0. So here we can see that two values are 0 and one value is 1. So majority is 0. So output is 0. So output is 1 only when majority of three input is true. That is true. So here we have two zeros and single one. So output is 0. But here we can see that majority of input is true. That is here it is 1, B is 1, C is 1. So two values are 1, one value is 0. So majority is 1, the output is 1. That is output is generated. Here again it is 0. Here two inputs are 1, so output is 1. Here two inputs are 1, output is 1. Here all three inputs are 1, so output is 1. So this is known as truth table. So we have constructed truth table with the help of given boolean statement or problem statement. So now let me see the sequence here. After writing the truth table, we have to write switching equations written and equations are simplified. So let me write the switching equations. Let me write here. Switching equations are written below. So now let me explain how to write the switching equations. So here while writing the switching equation or Boolean expression, we have to concentrate on output column. So this is output column. So wherever there is a one, we have to mark it. So here we have one, here we have one, here we have one, here we have one. So wherever there is a one, the corresponding inputs we have to check. So for this, the corresponding input is 0, 1, 1. So first variable is with respect to A, second one is B, with third one is C. So for this, the equation or the, the input value for this one is, wherever there is 0, we have to take complement. If it is 1, we have to take direct variable. So here it is 0, it's supposed to be A bar B C. That is A bar B C. 
Similarly, here this is with respect to A B bar C plus A B bar C. Now, here also we have one. So, corresponding inputs are 1, 1, 0, that is A B C bar plus A B C bar. Next, we have one corresponding inputs are 1, 1, 1, that is A B C. So, this is known as switching equation or Boolean equation or Boolean function. So, now the next step is here we can see after writing switching equations, equations simplified. We have to simplify the equations. So, now let me check this equation. So, if we implement the logic circuit with the same equations, we require more number of gates. So, simplification is necessary to reduce the number of gates. Now, let me simplify this Boolean expression. That is, I will do simplification. Let me simplify this Boolean expression. I can write y is equal to. Here, we can observe that c is common between these two terms. Now, let me take c as common. If I t take c common, I can write a bar b with respect to first term respect to second term it is a b bar plus by comparing these two expressions i can say that a b is common so a b is common here we have c bar plus c c bar plus c let me simplify this further y is equal to c we know that a bar b plus a b bar is nothing but x or gate which is written like this plus here we have a b by Boolean law, we know that C plus C bar is equal to 1. Therefore, it is AB. So, this is simplified expression. So, now according to the sequence, the next step is logic diagram drawn. Now, let me draw the logic diagram for this Boolean expression. Logic diagram is shown below. Let me write the expression once again. Y is equal to we have C A X or B plus A B. Now let me draw the logic diagram or logic circuit. So here we have A X or B. I will take one X or gate. This is my X or gate. Inputs are say A and B. Here we have A X or B then we have c dot a x or b so to perform a x or b with c i need one and gate let me take one and gate input to this and gate is a x or b another input is c so let me take this as c therefore output of this and gate is a x or b we have c then here we have a b so let me take one and gate input is one input is b another input is A. So, output of this is A, B. So, now in between this output and this output, there is a plus. Plus indicates OR gate. Now, let me take one OR gate. This is the symbol for OR gate. First input is this one. Another input is A, B. So, output of this is Y, which is nothing but this expression. So, this circuit is known as logic circuit or logic diagram or combinational circuit. So, here we can observe that this circuit is built up of using different logic gates. Here we have XOR gate, AND gate and OR gate. Therefore, we can say that in combinational circuit, the circuit is made of by combination of different logic gates. Thank you for watching.